But GCT Delta Port has a lot of advantage. It starts with uh, its geographic location, it's more north, it's many cases it's the first port of call. It also has a uh, you know, history of labor stability, it has a history of fluidity of the port, it has a physical space to do more rail capacity, and it's also connected to railroads, namely CN, who want to be a bigger player in the U.S. Midwest and Eastern Canada. Global Container Terminals Canada and the CN have worked very hard to make sure that we establish a consistent and reliable service for our customers. We make sure that we can target less than a two to three day dwell on a very consistent basis. We have under a hundred hour transit time from discharge at the terminal to Chicago. Customers is looking for transit time from ship discharge to train arrival on the interland. And the combination of all that is really ultimately what makes Vancouver attractive. We're now looking at expanding our on-dock rail to make sure that we can handle the growing volume and the larger vessels that are being put into the service lanes that we have here. And we work very closely with our CN partner to ensure that we are supporting their growth into their inland destinations as they look to open up new markets or as they look to improve the current markets that they're in. Almost like baseball, GCT, you know, takes the ball in Vancouver, they pitch it to us, and we want to be able to catch it in more cities than ever. Uh, to support the Trans-Pacific trade, we're expanding our terminal inland. We've made a very major investment in Calgary. We're going to be creating a brand new second terminal in Milton, Ontario. We're expanding the terminal in Detroit. We'll be expanding the terminal in Memphis. And in the last two years, we've opened a terminal in Indianapolis, Indiana, and in Joliet, Illinois. We're looking to make sure that we can provide good Canadian growth and also that we have available and consistent U.S. options. One of the keys for this is CN's ability to have a smoothless border transition. CN already has a seamless process at the border to get trained in and out of Canada uh, to the U.S. Midwest. We have invested uh, at Rainier, uh, where we basically have an intermodal ramp where we can deal with any issues uh, on the fly. I think the unique piece of Global Container Terminal and CN's partnership is that it is a true partnership. We have port managers from the CN Railroad and we have our terminal managers who work in close collaboration to make sure that we're giving the right level of service to our customers. They look at daily scorecards to make sure that we're hitting all of our metrics. And we deal with issues daily and what gets measured gets done daily. Ultimately, the customers have so many choices. He wants to go where the product is fluid and the service is reliable and the service is done as a team.